Ozak, Sugarwood, Insects Chirping, Marty, Scratch, Wimber Pump, Doe, Sugar, Clam, Loot, Bills, Bones, Bucks, Money. That's which separates the halves, haves and have nots. But what is money? Is everything you don't have it? Is everything if you don't have it, right? Half American adults must have more credit card debt than savings. 20% have no savings at all. There's only 15% of the population on track to fund every year of retirement. Suggesting what? The middle age, middle classes are operating. Or the American dream is dead. You wouldn't be sitting there listening to me if that was true. You see, I think most people just have a fundamental flawed view of money. It's simply an agreement upon unit exchange for goods and services. Three dollars seventy for a gallon of milk. Thirty bucks to cut your grass. Or is it intangible? Security or happiness? Peace of mind. Let me propose a third option. Money is a measuring device. You see, the hard reality is how much money you accumulate in life is not a function of who's present or the economy or bubble bursting or bad breaks or losses. It's about the American work ethic, one that made us the greatest country on earth, about bucking the media's option, opinion of what constitutes a bad parent, patent parent. Deciding to miss the ball game, the ball play, the concert, because you resolve to work, invest in your family's future, and taking responsibility for consequences of these actions, patience, fragility, sacrifice. We boil it down. What do these three things have in common? Rather than pants, these are choices. Money is not peace of mind. Money is not happiness. Money is this essence, that measure of man's choice, okay? Well, we're just really getting started looking, uh, interviewing. I guess you say financial advisors. Mm-hmm. Sure, you're doing your due diligence. Miss Hunkins, Miss Bride, we don't know, we don't know. Call me Marty. Marty, we don't know much about stocks investing. Well, I kind of do, I do. I just don't have time to do research. Computer tries, Miss Hunkins. Wouldn't you be comfortable with who we trust our money to? Uh huh. Now tell me, well, um, what do you want your financial, all oh, your financial plans? Do you have a five year goal? Miss Hopkins. Yeah, we'd like to build our, our basement, ideally. And we'd, we'd like a pool. Miss Hopkins. We're not getting a pool, we're getting a pool. He does that all this time, Marty. Pools are tricky, very difficult to recoup your money when it comes to time to sell. His investment, they're poor. Bruce Knox. Marty, get a be in the city at four o'clock. Yep, leave in ten, Marty. Yep. Hey, come on, meet the Hutkins. Oh, hi, this is Liddy of Little the Bride. It's Bruce Little. Hutkins have now just interviewed financial advisors. Oh, you didn't tell them. What about? Okay. So we hang on seventy three percent of Northwest entire surgical stuff. Mr Hutkins? Wow, Bruce. Yeah, that's our appointment. So due to the level of business, we're about to stop taking on new clients. There is an Edward Jones office in Wacker. He does a halfway decent job. Oh, Marty, did you tell me not too late to, for that 5,000? Would Then the 5,000 would still open an account here today. We'd be happy to take a check or credit card. Whispering, okay. Uh, check, great, great. Nice to meet you too. Marty, I see the car. Yep. This central location, magnificent architecture. I know for a fact I'm the first person showing you this. Showing this. So the guys are in the retreat chuckles. Views of Chicago River, room for expansion. Oh my goodness, that's perfect bathing. So these options are bathed, not while I'm working. I love you. And you give me boundaries, chuckles. Oh, thank God. Marty, what do you think? Do you love it? It's nice, very nice. It's nice, yeah. Fucking nice. I'm in, the, I'm in that corner. You're in that corner. 20 people working for us. Boom, boom, boom. Two minutes, check this. What kind of windows are these, Bruce? The kind you see through, I don't know. I mean, is seven facing, right? I mean, depending on your performance rating, the calling bill will be 
15.20% higher in summer. Something to consider, softly. I'm going to call some clients or something. I think Marty and I need to huddle up. I beat you being a little bitch. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Lisa. Sure, Bruce. All right. Terrell closes. Show you the computer screen. Wendy catches you rubbing right out one of them on that end of the uh, amateur back door action. She's going to fucking crack my toaster, dude. What are you thinking, Chuckles? You and Wendy have been together how long? 20 years? 22? 22 years. Holy Christ. Those threads are stripped. It's good a long time. It's a long time, Lisa. Lisa, nothing off the menu. This girl's got a wink. Wink. Like a fox trap. This is your future. Wife you're talking about. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, that's enough. Easy, settle, money, pride. Your mother is friend. I love you, I do. You're living a t- treasurely subdued life. Mm-hmm. And how is it? How is it we make the same bank? We make the same bank. Yet I, yet I can see... But I can see my place in Tom Trower. i here and you're driving a 10-year-old crammy and a cloth fucking, with cloth fucking seats. Nothing wrong with Kirby, stammering. And so, just, I do just fine, sex-wise. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a man watching DIY porn in his office. Clothes present. Present? Wow. Maybe you now be honest. When's the last time you really treated happy? Oh, come on, come on, I'm playing out. Okay, you got me. You got me. Financial drives as though not, not a dream damn. I'm taking the fucking bite of the apple. Are you? Yeah. Hey, check this out. Check this out. These and I went, went here. Please, folks. This looks amazing, amazing. Look at it. Look at it. Lake of the Uzex. Yeah, Lake, Lake of the Uzex. Southern Missouri. Redneck with a river, baby. Chuckles. I thought it was going, uh, going to hate, hate the place. Got there. It sells heavily. Almost pissed myself. Yeah, seriously? This bad boy. Bad boy. It was more shoreline, literally than enough. The entire shore coast of California. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Every summer, five million rich, catch-rich tourists show up to send on that place. And got, he got everything. It's got everything. Rich, poor, bars, boats, yachts, condos. You keep this. You're going to hold on to this. This is mine, yeah? You out. You put that on your vision board. Okay, this part of the place. I'm telling you, I've got it, got everything. My point is, you've got to buy land right down there to the water line. We invest, okay? Use it to excuse to get out of the city. Your mood improves, probably. Your marriage. Huh, it is. Be a decent boy to think we can take it, this. Nice, no. What? We're not. No, we're not chuckling. We're not. We're going to consider it. We're not taking it yet. Mum, Wendy. Sometimes we don't think we're going to like something, but when you try it, and suddenly you realise you're having fun. Think that about your shopping trampoline. Me and your father, I thought about getting that for years. And all of a sudden, what happened? Next thing you knew, the two of us going, doing back frits out there with you. Mum, I don't want to go to the dance. I'm not going to have fun. Look, if you're just going to stand around, why make him go? It's a school dance. Everybody stands around. You just don't want him to be there. I'm trying to help you, retard. Hey, you're not retard. Hey, stop it, both of you. We didn't use, we don't use that word. You know that. You know, maybe you should go. Then you can wear your Minecraft t-shirt and wear you take your spear, boy. Okay, okay, oh, screw you. Stop it, both of you. Marty, put that uh, back, please. Your brother's handsome, no matter what he wears. Marty, give me that. Wendy, gonna put yourself out there. Give me that clicker, please. I'm just watching that. No, you're not. Yes, I was. Give it to me. Put your dinner and leave. Eat, put, give it to me. Eat your dinner and leave your brother alone. Why do you always take his side? Not like you ever say anything to him. Not taking his side. You're picking on him. Okay, okay, just stop. Can we reset the coast conversation? Yeah, let's do it. How was your day? <coughs> How was yours? My day was very exciting. I went to Costco. Then I went and got got my groceries. Then I dropped off the recyclables. Then I took Jonah to the dentist. Then, do not throw that out. Oh, your father might want it later. You want it? No, thank you. Oh, no, okay. Girl, that was very exciting. Don't you get um, groceries on Monday? Uh-huh, girl. I need $10 on Monday. Well, four. There's a fundraiser for Hannah, Hannah Olsen. Is she all right? Wendy? Oh, she has cirrhosis. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a disease, Dad. 
I can't, it's okay. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's skin, honey. There's no cure. Let, let's save your money. I mean, if you're close to a cure, fake your skin, your combination, we're just gonna get a crack team of dermatologists over the top. Both gonna pony up. But okay then, I'd like to save my ten bucks, okay? I'm not calling you one. But why are you acting so dickish? I mean, say ten dollars. One day you're gonna work for a living. You're gonna like, not gonna like people with hands in your pockets. Charlotte, get the ten dollars out of my purse. No, it's fine. Let's face, let's uh, face, uh, face fall off. No, it's a test, it's ten dollars. For Christ's sake, what? She asked me for twenty dollars, me. And if I have fifty a weekend, for that, she's fifteen years old. She knows, to, she needs to know the value of money. I do you not agree? I agree. Your customer reports. Excuse me, reports came today. That's a funny. Thank you for dinner. I worked hard on it. It, it, it chuckles. Some dangers. We wanted to look, f- and we want to look further. Well, studies have shown that f- from p- potentially deadly side effects are extremely rare. Fewer than 11 cases per 10,000 women used it for a year. Families affected point out that in incidents, life-threatening blood clots are still double. Broadcast continues incidentally. Marty sighs. Do you want the uh, history tunnel? Do you want the history tunnel? Mm, thank you. What's this something else? Mm, Andy, I'm tired. Look quite awfully quiet. Just got something on mind. Do you care if I go to bed? Mm, when he sighs. Good night, good night. Crickets chirping. Door creaks softly. Softly. Who who loves this little girl? You do, Daddy. Good night. In seat chatter, woman. Yeah, I've got it. In seat chatter continues. You haven't done this before, have you? Why, handsome, clean. Fit. Let me guess. The wife didn't want you to do it for her. Your wife doesn't want to do it. What you want to, to do. If you were a married man walking all day so I could stay at home, well, I, I chuckled. Let's face it, it was a bitch when, the, it was a bitch when you were little, but now you're both teens and a school day, private school too. Even though you pay, you pay shit pot full of state funds and live in top really public school district, you never missed a mortgage payment, Bernie Burn. Nice home on a quarter acre, squared off not suburbs. Fucking Marnie Byrne. Putting presents underneath the tree since 2022. Not would I, well, not only would I cheat on you, belt buckles, tingles, tingles, but you do it. Fly and zipping. Anything you wanted? Do me a favour. Don't come too fast. Grant softly. Hey, you can't be beaten off in your car, baby. It's a, it's a workplace, yeah. Thank you, size. Quick, quick, it's chipping, chipping, my ringtone. Hello, Marty, it's Bruce. I'm at Henderson's. Trucking, why? I'm a senior junior. Need you here, Marty. Now, stammers. Now. No, Bruce. In a minute, it's the middle of night. Tell me what's the problem. I can tell Dale. Dale's here. Okay, man speaking distinctly. Marty, tell me, Mr. Henson. Hey, Mr. Henson. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Marty. Dale. Just says a few questions. Well, hey, he's, well, what's going on? Door opens. Well, hi, Dale. Don't know you coming into town. You look good, Marty. Yeah, thanks. Where's my five million? Your what? Your five million? What's he talking about? Have a seat. Whatever, whatever is between you is your business. Got yourself to do, nothing to do with me, my dead handsome street senior. Chirp son, Henderson and Junior. You run a clean shop. A clean? Other than a hundred million in drug money, a you and your father collect and transport. The two gentlemen in Tolunda chuckles. This is clean, this is clean to you. Listen, Dale. Whatever money you're missing, I'm sure there's probably good explanation. No, stolen. That's my word. Sit down, Henson. Sighs. Yeah, Mr. Dale, where we go. I swear we're not stealing from you. We'll log on on your, log all of our weights. Check them. The account won't lie. Numbers don't lie. Should, shall we, should tell that to him from Chicago to Panamia, Mexico to Tel Aviv, Mardi Bayam, uh, could make 10 million, 100 million of dirty money disappear. Well, it was spit, well, like a spit in a spot, spit it. Mr. Real, I have to pee. Of course, Suffolk's door closes. 
I was nine years old. I started working in my parents' grocery store. It was a big store, but it fed six kids. We had a four cashiers, Charlotte. I best maybe thirty stallions. Then, and then, when she was f- fifteen, she was loyal, the kind of person to call out when you're nine, you're nine years old because she's always there, always with a smile. And one day, my father's coming out and sees Aunt Charlotte slip five dollars worth of pitch toes out of two into her pocket. He couldn't believe it. Why, why, Charlotte? If you needed money, why didn't you come to me? So that was a proud woman. Too proud to steal, not too proud. Not too proud to steal, but proud. She had four kids and her husband. Her youngest one had asthma. Said she needed money to buy medicine. So a, bo- to, uh, so a boy could breathe, cried like a baby. Swore she would never do it again. Begged my father not to fire and begged Miss Hanson. What should my father do with Aunt Clara? Clara, Claretta, five dollars. You tell her if it happens again, she's gone. You got you put on probation, probation chuckles. I love America's side, Bruce sighs. One mistake against, against fifty years. Tell you, teaching cashier is a bitch. I'd give her a second chance. Dale sighs. Marty, what would, should my father do? I know this one. What this is? I know what you're doing. This is an, an, an invitation audit. Yeah, I mean it. I mean, you think you can just come in, you announce a rattle some cages, someone's going to admit to some skimming. I mean, you're fishing. I mean, people steal, I get it. But you've not got a refrigeration cage train downstream run by meth heads and deal dealers. That's where you're going to find your aunt Clarita's. But not in here. We have been laundering money for Mr. Naruto for ten years, that's right. The only one thing that you're going to do in here is your vote as civilian. All right? And you know, to be honest, this, Dale Cunningham's Proto Escadaba, Ruse, Ruse. Think that's beneath you. Come on, Dale. Ruse, Marty? Ruse. That's a good word. Muscius Gracias. Cops pistol, fan, clamoring. What the fuck? Put it down, Jesus Christ. Whoa. Just slow down, bro. Dale. Bruce, what the heck? Bad engineer. Shoot, Bruce. Liz moaning. Buddy fuds. Look, my dad had nothing to do with this. Bruce, girl, Marty. It was Bruce's idea. He shut. He shut. He shut. He shut the fuck up. He's come to me. He's Bruce Stammers. Bruce is his idea, Bruce. Hey, shut Dale. Dale. What have you done? Dale, God damn it. It's not what you've done. God damn it. What have you done? Voices sound fade out. Truck with voices beeping. And voice is some echoing. Please listen. Listen to me. You're going to do. You don't want to do this. Tell me. Truck beeping loudly. Handsome senior. God damn it. He, need, he made a terrible mistake. We all work for free, Hanson Jr. Please, please, my daddy had nothing to do with this. Dale, you know what I like about Chicago? The Mexican cultures, the food, the language, the women, I feel at home. You know what I dislike about Chicago? All the fucking Mexicans. Might as well put up a sign that says, Look at Chicago, Doug Dub, a US, Venicia, Venicia, Dia, Afida, FBI, all sucking all buzzards. And then, when does the drama come from? Huh? Four sticky fingered white men. Those pistols. Dale, he's my son. Thomas, please. He made a terrible mistake. I can make it this right. I swear to God, I can make it right. I can make it right. My father shouldn't have to see. Shouldn't have to see his child dying. God, his dad, Bruce. No, how do you do it, Bruce? Hey. Hanson's men picked up the shipment of cash along with Watts. Legitimate load, air conditioners, subtract. The weight of the cash from the weight of the trucks. We rigged the gas rages. We read in full. We need five guns light. How much, Bruce size? Eight million over three years. Okay, you ready, Marty? Ready? Marty had nothing to do with this. That, this is all me. I need you to understand. I have never known any done this. I thought it would hurt you. And I am got of some wimpers, Marty. Let me say goodbye to my kids. They're asleep. Just leave them a message, you know. Gossie sighs. You're confused, Siffles. And wait a minute. Hang on a minute. Second. 
I just, I just got to leave a message. Tell them I'm going to go away. I'm going to miss them. So it's heavily they know. Phone tatters saying it is size. Where are they, huh? Where are the kids at school? Some are right. What, your kids? Some are right. Don't want to do it, Mountie. Wendy, in front of the kids, Martin, Wendy, don't know anything what I, what, about what I do. I never told her anything about what I do. Not once, not once. You need to do something, anything to Wendy. Don't need to do anything to Wendy. Are you ready? So it's heavy. No, no, no. No, hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. One second. Just uh, talk to me. Talk to me for one second. Just one second. Ah, oh, breathing heavily. More shoreline, more shoreline. Whole coast of California. Excuse me? This place right here is more shoreline. The whole coast of California. And apparently every summer, hang on, listen to me. Every summer the population in this place explodes. Tons of tourists bound west is full. From all over the west place. Blue, blue collar, white collar. Lead with cash, sniffles, okay? Side, what? that's why I got, I got this brochure, I got to go. Hang on one second, Sniffles. I got this brochure last week, it's going in business. I brought it back to talk to Bruce about it. I'm going to talk to you because I want to get put a house on the market and move down there with the family. I want to do, go, do whatever, what we can do down there. You're right about, you're right about Chicago, you've got the FBI, AF and CIA. That's all, they're circling around Chicago. They're tapping phones, they're monitoring bank accounts. I just need a few hub. I need a new hub. Okay, this place is away from every single law enforcement agency in the US. It's cash rich. Okay, think about it. I mean, what do I do? Launder 10%? What the cartel does in the US? Right, and even for basement. Pace me on percent of, of some other guy, you know? Oh, which I doubt you do. Even if you do, that's eight percent, five percent. You'll be getting shipped across the border of Mexico. All right? And how much of that is getting you seized? A lot. It's a waste. And how much of it's getting siphoned off? You know, bribe the border guards and and the cops, the politicians, the judges, all that stuff. It's gonna get got. It's, it's all gone out the window. Just give it to me. I want more than just the ten percent. I want it all. I want to take it down there. Okay. Why did you go, why, what did you guys take from you? What did these guys take from you? Was it eight? Is that what they said? I'll get you that, get you that. I'll put that together. I'll make you whole. I'll make it honest money. Okay? I'll give you to you. I'll find out, to, to, I'll then put, take me, my family, I'll go down to all Zex, like we planned. And we'll start washing money. Tons of it, nothing but waste, waste money. That's all that matters. Come on, come on, the size. Five years, three years. I don't do twice what we're doing right now. Five years, five million. Five hundred million. I'll do that. That's more and more. There's more and more shoreline. The whole coast of California. They said that. You said it already. Here we go. Size, come on. Cut, piece of whales. Or sales, chicken shot. Bell recording. Three hundred million. Five hundred million. Five years? No more. Hey, grasping at sales. Five hundred million in five years? Yeah, no question. Stiffles. You have 24, 8, 40 hours to get my money. Yeah, okay. Cash. No financial instruments. No wire transfer. No cashier checks. Cash, all right. All of it. Cash. I understand. After I have my money, you have another 45 hours. 48 hours. 48 to be on the road to these Ozaks. You want to be ready to set up shop within a week, yeah. And Marty, when I drive to your house, you better be the cell sign in your lawn. Speaks in Spanish, man in English. Come on, lower in Spanish. Dark door slamming, truck door engine starts, combination lot spitting. When you know, there's no choice here. Why well, stop? You have to call the police. I want you to forget it, okay? Or do we do we want to just role play it? Okay, I'm a detective, whatever the fuck. You're the wife. The top running on around the second biggest drug cartel, Mexico. Go. I mean, come on. Please mean jail time. We're a witness protection program. Best we get that far. If we get make it that, that kids are endangered with old stammers. How do you want to be when you're here? You know, people drive trucks full of cash, scales away it through because it's too much to count. It don't exactly have a code of ethics as they do. We got, we're not going to police. Then this to the police. No, no, Bruce didn't come home. He's missing. They found it out. They find out he's dead, Liz. He's dead. Wendy, she's dissolving in a barrel next to what one stuff Bruce into. 
Let's hear what I'm going to do. Over uh, the next two days, I'm going to pull uh, together eight million back, pay back the uh, Bruce stole. But we're not going to do this. What we're not going to do is we don't even have that much. Well, we're going to be tight. I mean, I was already with dual penalties. I don't know. You've got to try. Well, we're not going to go. go we're not going to do it, though. Go with paint, okay? We're going to prioritize, and we're going to uh, compromise. We're going to be a little part of the time, a bit of time management, okay? All right, starting for the first thing tomorrow, I'll really tell the kids we're moving. We're going to tell your friend, Griffin Linda, the radio teller. We're going to list this house. We're going to call a moving company, and you and the kids are going to pack. You're going to help them. Oh, but let them do it themselves. Don't really care, but we'll come Friday. On school, we're on the road, okay? That's it. And then when the movies, please, get free bids. The money's going to be tight. No fucking way am I going. Money, Charlotte, you're going. Where are we all going? Not me, I'm going to live with Kathleen. Who's X? It's like woods and stuff. Yeah, I think so, honey. Mum, what the fuck? Husbands and mothers. And the mothers and wives take new jobs. They relocate their families all the time. You know, this is country they built by Americans. Pursuing an opportunity, okay? Pioneer to one, we're located once a day, your financial advisor. Self employed financial advisor. That's right. You started where the opportunity is. Yeah, and I said the opportunity is Missouri. Okay, we understand it's simple. This is, a, a, this is upsetting. Stanley, believe me. I get that how hard this is. We're a family. We are. We're making this move as a family. We prefer if you see it as an adventure. Yeah, well, thanks to you for the eggs and shit sandwich. Money, Charlotte, I got it. Uh, you okay? Not, uh, not all this. All, not, not all. Not some all. Everything that we need to catch. 7,995,400. So again, we don't keep that kind of money on site. You don't just, uh, you can't just have it wired here, then come back by the bank and withdraw it, not in cash. Whoa, whoa, my lord, you stop. Margaret's are spooking you. They're sliding into mutual funds. Be back in six months of twice the money. I'm not explaining myself correctly. Just because it says, it says money in your account doesn't mean it's actually there physically. I know how the banking system works. That's why I call you in advance so you get it. Your entire portfolio. Yeah, forget it. 10% penalty for every withdrawal, plus another 35% in taxes, Miss Bird. And it seems to be disconnected by a large wire of transfers. Expect the road about withdrawing it in cash money. So by the end of business day, you're going to have your clothes to 8 million in 8 separate accounts to your bank. I suspect it puts you in a woeful, uncompromised position relative to obligation to the FDIC, okay? So you know, unless. Your vice president of one institute is sent from the liquidity ratio laws, laws governing every other bank in America. It's just you place a call to the Federal, Federal Reserve at 237 cents of sale in order yourself up a shitload full of cash. Dorbins, hey Brenda, huh? Yeah, do you need some help with something? This firm has been dissolved, unfortunately, Chuckles. I'm sorry, the firm? No one is this, I tell you. But you know, you're great. Oh, all the way through, Wendy. My business with some very big people. We need to leave town. Your husband, financial advisor, Mr. Kusuma reports. Oh shit, we leave town. Leave tomorrow. What? Stammers. Oh, wait a sec. Wait. What? Are we talking about run for the life kind of leaving? Or witness protection situation? Chuckles nervously. Everything's on the table. Holy shit, holy shit. Leaving him for where? Lake of Uzex. Uzex? I mean, good lord. What is it like? Even Mike chuckles. I think it's where camouflage is pretty primary colour. Man, name's Gary Silverberg. My partner with McNeil Rat Roots downtown. Know him, Marty? Uh huh. Man, on the board, half a dozen profit, non profits. Cami Arts. Goodman, theatre, geography. He sees your wife at last twice a year. Some days more. Either he placed her somewhere close to you. Uh, highest specified field in, double in in Hospero, where I tagged him. A silverwood right here. There, what is that? Oh, you jumped the gun, not asking to meet you today. Normally, just for everything for walking, like, file to throw a bowler, binder. Table contents, intro, summary. 
<coughs> so we for registration, not for duration. Oh yeah, tell me what it means. Sugar was a pet name for him. As you know, all right, I got it. Name, give me that sugar. Yeah, I got it. Well, I think you. Where are you about you now, Wendy? Paying back the money that his partner stole. How much? I don't know. What are we talking about? What do you think we are? The government will try to tax as many, much of that money possible, freeze our assets to force his corporation. You need that as much as you can, as fast as you can. Wendy, fuck, 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 hypocritically. Scale one to ten. How difficult will be someone disappear? You and him? Careful, chuckles lightly. No, just me. You know, the family. Four of them. Uh, four. You know these? Social security numbers, credit cards. You can do it. For a while, anyway. Then your money run out. When your money run out, one of your kids will get so- online sloppy. Twitter, Instagram, your wife. The one little lo- lo- lemon drop too many. And then next friend she wants to share. Scroll share. You have a legal problem I'm not aware of. But don't tell me if you do. You should keep your identity. Leave the country. Go somewhere with no inspiration to the U.S. Phone buzzes. Depends on who's looking for you. How much of your money have they, they have? Hang on, hang on. I've got a text from my bank. I'll write something off about check-ins and savings. Got a gun? Nope. What? Wait, good. So those leaves in Echo Tower. Sofa Berg lives in Echo Tower. Apartment 80303. A floor. Makes you think she's there. It's Thursday. Mail voice. Mail voice. Voicemail. This is Wendy. Leave me a message. Fucking bitch. Hey Gary. Hey Gary. I'm back Marty. 22 years. Never cheated. Never once. Not once. I had a chance more than a few times. But I never took it. Instead of what? Come on. Went to go to bed. Got up. Do it all over again. Not good enough. Huh? Now you want to try to take your money? You want a divorce? I'll show you the meaning of the ugly. You lose, I'll blow up, I'll dig it in. My man, one. Wall man, two. Wall man, come on, man. Damn it, just starts cricket, chubby main phone. When you down? Why does Wendy have a court checkers check for $29,650, Marty? She lied to me, Marty. She knows about your business. What kind of man doesn't, isn't willing to lie to save his wife's life? That, was that before or after you found out she's fucking a lawyer? After, ouch, I bet you haven't even confronted her yet. Right now you're calculating a smart move. Divorce her, things turn her ugly size. She holds on to what you've done with your head. Live with the cheating of whatever man you think you are. You are, whatever man you think you are. Uh, it's eating away day by day. I take care of your Wendy problem right here and right now. You're called Wendy Marty. You're here, Dale. You should, my, you should, my father. Do, what should my father do? Your father, but answer the You never question my answer my question. What should my father do about a woman steals from her, her loyal, well woman with him for fifteen years? What did my mother make him do? Fire her. Why? It's not the first time she stole from you. Maybe, maybe was it? It's the first time who you caught her. Footsteps approaching, door closes, footsteps draw, draw closer, for her, when he sniffles softly, you're welcome, breathing regularly, instinct chatter, hi, good morning, Mr. Bird. Hi, what's this, good to see you, sir, yeah, good to see you, can I g- get you a cup of coffee, no thank you, am I underdressed, dressed, no, what are you doing, no, there's been no stop that. There's been no kidnapping. I'm not wearing any wires. Just have a, a business opportunity. Acquires cash, sir. Yeah, there's no business opportunity to acquire that much cash. Not legal ones. But I agree to disagree. Where's my money? Have we told you we don't cover them out within 24 hours, okay? There's two federal agents here, which means you wouldn't take the chance. There was no kidnapping. You haven't got any of my money. So you don't produce it immediately. I'm going to walk into that lobby. I'm going to tell these people I can't get my money out. And you'll see how long it takes to go viral. You'll get a good old fashioned run, run at his bank. And what, and, it, it's, and if you put all $7,945,400 in hot tub, get buck naked, play Scrooge McDuck. That's 100% my business. Well, that's, but now, where's my money, Dale? Great Depression. That's when the Lake of Dog is, all, all sex was built, 1929. You know that, all that. You old Marty Bird. And Marty Bird has been playing this for a long time. How long then? Long time. Yeah, man whistles. 
Yeah, I'm short. Six thousand five hundred fifty nine fifty dollars. But it's not. It's not your problem. What did I tell you? I already sold that car. But I also have a minivan. I haven't sold yet. And this is a Honda Odyssey. It's top range minivan in the US. Bill Brook, uh, Bill Brook, uh, on its 27,000. I got cash on buying the Odyssey for you for 27. I owe you 220,000. Take that for my dollar money. I lease it back to you for say 1,000 a month. Top bottom my money man in the US. Okay, good. Now I want you to take 7,000, 7,936,000. And, uh, we're sorry, clean it. Clean? Uh huh. Yeah, being, being, that's clean. It's already clean. Well, you want me to clean it? Again, you lose 15%, another 15, 27% in taxes, man, and maximum. That's, that's not the point, is it? It's how sharp me. I have to see. You can do it. A torn, Marty. Between the tree and thinking, the whole zip thing. Complete enough to straw, gushing bullshit. I'm willing to draw the dice because you're special. You've got a gift. You think you're trying to fuck me? I have you. I have to kill you. I'm ready, Jonah and Charlotte. I'm not in order. Yeah, in Spanish. Put it back in the, back in his trunk. You know, down the other day, you said, well, is my five million? A Bruce and Hanson kid took eight. Hmm? You're right. I was fishing. Didn't know they stole a damn thing. They killed Lisa on a hunch. Or a towel. I haven't been working with you, Bruce, for long, long. You never know him for an hour. Not to be conceived on his mouth. When he grunts, well, what's really going on, Mum? You know, Charlotte, it's been uh, real hard a few days. So here is everything. If, uh, there's, uh, if there's anything in here that you can't, that you just can't, can <coughs> so there is anything in here that you can just combine size, okay? You just can't go to help mummy, mummy over the next few days, okay? Okay, just keep a really good attitude. You've got to trust us, all right? I know we work, we'll work this out later. I already do. Okay, okay, thank you. Kisses, Nuffles, agent. Right, straight to voicemail. Agent 2, hang up. You are going want me to keep trying? No. Us a bit. Petty ran. To his mind. Took his chippy. And left the country. And Petty. I got, I think we got them all. Yeah, 18 and bugs went in. 18 out. My name's on the regs. Yes, sir. You don't seem to be upset. What is that? What is it? Lindell was over. Oh, I mean, we need him. We would have been a fantastic government witness. Mexicans, Mexican, Muslims. We all want to believe that these people are more than they are. And they're not. It, it wasn't. If they weren't size, trading drugs, distorting businesses, flying planes and buildings, they'd be cleaning toilets. They're not criminal geniuses, they're professional lawyers, liars and a path of village assistance. No, they was no different. Entertaining them? Oh, I'm confused. The Rio Nevada, the cartel. Why would he do all this? Bruce is just entertaining. Maybe, where is Bruce, Marty Bird, Wendy? Where are you, where are you going, Marty? You're going to take a leak, don't Decks dark playing. Then your knife. There comes the darkness. There's a spacecraft blocking out the sky. Sorry, whispers. I'm so sorry. There's nowhere. Oh, I'm sorry. To hide. So sorry. You'll run to, back to onto the back and cover your ears. But but it's the loudest noise you've ever heard. And we will be trapped, ragdoll cloth people. We are helpless to resist our darkest hour, white right, dad. But it's just a laugh, just a laugh, just a laugh, just a laugh, even at this angle. And then we crumble, a ten-ton head, made of wet sand. It's dread still covers you. You're going to be kidding at me. The grass grows over my, your face in glass. In the glass, is it just a laugh, just a laugh. If whatever you say is a sp- for infinity, and your life it co- comes in darkness, a scrape crop blocking out the sky. There's nowhere to hide, you run to the back. You cover your ears, it's the loudest sound you ever heard. In your darkness hour, it's another, if you're other me, if you're another me, it's so dark, if you're another me, if you had another me, sweet time, sweet time, sweet time.